This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of the retroperitoneum, peritoneal cavity, and abdominal wall. Equipment required includes the following. An ultrasound machine, a selection of transducers, an examination table, positioning aids such as wedge sponges or pillows, a chair, acoustic gel, examination gloves, bed linen and towels, and a sonographer's worksheet. Explain the technique of breath holding and, if necessary, the Valsalva maneuver. Ask the patient to lie supine on the bed and make them comfortable with the use of pillows or wedges positioned as required. Put on gloves. Expose the patient's abdomen and apply acoustic gel to the right lower costal margin. Select a transducer of appropriate frequency for the scan and select the appropriate transducer setting. Confirm the correct transducer selection and preset on the ultrasound machine. Perform a survey scan of the abdomen and make any necessary adjustments to the machine settings to maximize the image quality. Scanning of the retroperitoneum and peritoneal cavity is usually performed as part of a full abdominal ultrasound study. There are notes set positions for imaging of the retroperitoneum and peritoneal cavity. Images are taken if there is pathology. The areas that should be scanned include the following, the right upper quadrant, the left upper quadrant, the midline, and the pelvis. When examining the retroperitoneum, keep in mind that it is the potential spaces that are being evaluated. Assess each potential space in both the transverse and longitudinal planes. Scan the subphrenic space by placing the transducer intercostally to identify any fluid or mass in the area. Using the liver as an acoustic window on the right and the spleen on the left, scan the perirenal and pararenal spaces in the longitudinal and transverse planes. There are two main regions of the peritoneum, the greater sac and the lesser sac. Identify any fluid lying in the lesser sac by scanning to the left of midline from midliver down to iliac crest. If fluid is seen in the lesser sac, measure the collection in three dimensions. Scan the right lower quadrant to evaluate for ascites, masses, or appendicitis. The left lower quadrant is also scanned for ascites and masses. With a patient lying supine, any free fluid tends to accumulate in the pericolic gutters and pelvis. Scans of the right and left lower quadrants should be made in two planes, longitudinal and transverse. The amount of any fluid should be measured and documented. The pelvic cul-de-sac is the space between the rectum and the uterus. Scan the pelvis in two planes, transverse.